Well, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here, and welcome to the channel. You know, I've had a few questions about the lifts, uh, how they work. And for those of you that don't know, I have a couple of lifts here in the garage. One that the Jeep is sitting on, a shorter one, and one that the uh, truck is under, and then the Honda is up on top, a taller one, which you can see here. Um, and the reason being, uh, we needed a taller one, obviously, for the truck to sit under because we couldn't get this one high enough. And the way this one is right now, it won't go high enough to put the Jeep underneath. We could put the Jeep on top and then raise it up and put something else down below. But it's not tall enough to have the Jeep underneath. So that's the setup. Uh, these are, let's see, I'm not sure how well that'll come through, but they are... Uh, nationwide lifts again I don't know if you guys can make that out but they are nationwide lifts is the manufacturer and I'm going to uh, I'm gonna switch cars out I'm gonna drive the Honda for a few days so I'm gonna bring the Honda down and put the truck up and I'll show you guys how that works okay first things first obviously we got to get the truck out of here kind of hard to lower the Honda if the truck's sitting underneath. So we're going to back this truck out, which is the Tacoma, of course, and then I'll show you how we lower the Honda and then put the truck up there. So here we go. Forgot the keys. <laughs> got the truck out of the way so now obviously we need to lower the Honda um, to do that first of all unless you're you know six foot four you have this little step here that goes right on here so you can get up and reach the handle because when you lower this it has a safety feature on it which is this knob here and what that does is is as it lowers there are notches in here and if you don't pull that down while you're lowering it it will catch in each one of these notches and that's a safety feature so that if the hydraulics for some reason give way and the car starts to lower it will stop as it hits the next notch down and hopefully not crush what is underneath so let me uh, set you guys up uh, top here and I'll show you how to do that there you go now, one other thing I'll mention before I do this, there is a button, there's two controls over here that you use. Um, there's a button here, and that is to raise the lift up, and then there is a kind of a lever here that pulls in against this little button, that's to lower the lift down. That releases the hydraulic fluid back into the tank here, um, and then lowers the vehicle. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pull the handle up there to release and you have to hold that as you go. And at the same time, pull this lever up against the button here to lower the car. So let's go ahead and do that. I think you guys can see there. And away we go. Now, one thing I forgot to mention, before you do this, I do have it resting, so this is tight. I do have to raise it up just a little bit to release this from the notch that it's sitting in as a safety feature. So we're going to raise it up just a hair, and then once this releases, I can pull it down and lower the car. There you go.
that's pretty much it for lowering it. Now, a couple things to get the car off. Um, as you can see here in the back, it does sit uh, higher uh, up from the ground, the actual lift, of course. So we do have to put these ramps over there uh, so that we can back the car out. So we're going to do that next. Okay, now I will say these are uh, rather heavy, which they should be. That takes the Honda out, it's parked out there. So now, we need to get the truck in here on the lift. That usually takes me a couple of times, so this might be kind of amusing. But I like to make sure I get it right, because when you're gonna lift, uh, I don't know what this thing weighs, 4,000, 4,600 pound, whatever it is, vehicle, you wanna make sure you've got it right. So we're gonna go grab the truck, we're gonna bring it in here, um, I will film that for you and then we'll show you how to put it up. Okay, we got it in. I told you, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so um, I want to get it as close to perfect as I can on the lift. It's just the way I am. So let's take a look. Uh, you can guys can see oops, where I ended up here. Um, and I'm looking at uh, the edges here where the tire is. How close is it to the edge of the lift? Obviously, how close is it to the support here? It does clear that. It may not look that way on camera but there is clearance how far off the rear tire sits you can see here off of the lift it's just maybe slightly off maybe go over here and look at the other side same thing it's uh, again the distance between here and the little support thing and then we'll go take a look at the front also the distance from uh, the back of the tire to the rear of the lift as compared to the front obviously it's a little further back uh, than it is close to the front take one more look over here you guys can see how far the tire hangs off which is very minimal so I'd call that almost the perfect lift so now we're gonna raise this thing up in the air you may have noticed in other videos if you've seen I do have it marked where the truck needs to go and where the Honda needs to go. Uh, obviously, this one says truck, so this is where the bottom of the lift is going to sit when we're done. Uh, if the Honda were up there, it would be sitting up there so the truck can get underneath. So, let's go ahead and uh, raise this thing up. Okay, we've got it about two-thirds of the way up. I thought I'd uh, come back on here and show you guys the final part. This is where you finish lifting it, obviously, and uh, secure it, of course, so that it can't come down. Also paying attention, if I didn't have it marked, to where it is uh, at ceiling height. Obviously, I've had this up there several times, so I'm not real concerned about it hitting the ceiling. Uh, so we're going to finish it off here. And again, we're going to bring the lower part of the lift here to where it's marked here on the truck. So we have about a foot and a half left to go. So let's uh, finish it up.
you guys can see, we still have clearance up there. Uh, it's not a ton of clearance, and I don't really have to put it this high for the uh, Honda either, but I choose to set it this way. So now, like I'd mentioned before, you want it to go a little bit higher so that you then can lower it back down a tad uh, and secure it with uh, the safety catches. So we have it up a little bit higher now. We're going to lower it and uh, secure it. So here we go. And that's done just by pulling this knob. And that's it. And you check it by seeing if this is tight. And uh, of course it is. I can't release it now. And I can't go any lower here. So we're down as far as we can go and it's resting on the uh, on the latches. So that is how you lower and raise um, a vehicle on a lift, at least on these lifts. It's really pretty simple once you uh, figure out what you're doing. Uh, it took me a couple of times to remember the steps, of course, as to what exactly I'm supposed to do. But that's it. The truck is now stored up above. Um, I don't know. It takes probably... Mm, I'd say about 10 minutes maybe, non-camera time. Of course, it takes me longer when I'm setting up the camera and everything else for you guys. But that's the, uh, that's the way it's done. As usual, appreciate you guys watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think of this setup. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the web. Have a good day. Bye.